So let's begin with our subject now, <coughs> on the use of creative imagination. Uh, creative imagination is a tool for creativity, as a tool for healing, particularly in psychotherapy, as a tool for exploring our own inner world, and in particular as a tool for exploring our spiritual path, our spirituality. So creative imagination is um, something that's somewhat misunderstood as a term. If I ask you, first of all, what is imagination? Any answers? What is imagination? One of the most important functions of the human being. It's like stories we make up in our mind. So, some things that we make up in our mind, like stories, or pictures. Yeah. Sort of beyond the realm of reality. Well, that's an interesting, because that's a slightly different definition. Beyond the realms of reality. The ability to conceive. The ability to conceive, that, oh, that leaves us with lots and lots of possibilities. The imagination has lots of us. It has potentially unlimited possibilities. Anything else? The world of images. The world of images. It's, and when we say the world of images, we mean that literally. In other words, we're talking about an imaginal realm as opposed to the physical realm. And in some uh, traditions, particularly in mystical traditions, they see the physical world as part of an imaginal realm. That was a very old view, the idea that um, a, a tree or an animal in the landscape is a part of me. So there was, there was no differentiation between subject and object. That's a very, <coughs> very old view. <coughs> of course, uh, uh, in our Western um, philosophy, we've separated the idea of subject and object. In other words, it's object and object. I see you. They're two separate things. I observe you. I watch you. And if I remember you, or if I try to remember you, what do I have to do? I have to use my imagination <coughs> to get with, together with memory. So, that's, a, that's again, it's a different kind of imagination. So we're going to begin with, um, what, in fact, I'll, I'll go back to that point. Now, there's another term that is used that is confused with imagination. It's the word fantasy. What does fantasy mean to you? Or do you think it's the same thing as imagination? No connection to reality. Right, that's a very good answer. Uh, um, one uses imagination, but in a way that does not connect with any kind of reality other than your own wish fulfillment. For example, if you uh, are stressed out uh, and you, you have a fantasy of being someone, someone totally <coughs> That's fantasy. Or if your boss is shouting at you, and whilst he's shouting at you, you have a fantasy of strangling him. <laughs> so that's, that doesn't, fortunately, or hopefully happen in reality. So that's, that's fantasy. It's just wish fulfillment. It's not connected with anything real. The fact that it might be connected with your anger is neither here nor there. Your anger is your anger, but what you wish to do with it is fantasy. So fantasy is a kind of, of uh, constructed uh, picture, but it has no connection to reality. It is only connected to your own reaction to your environment. So fantasy is to do a, a kind of thinking or imagining that is a reaction to your environment. There's uh, the two seats at the back here. So, um, if we 
we, if we establish that uh, fantasy is one kind of use of imagination or one kind of thinking, it's a reactive thinking. What's the other kind of thinking that uses imagination? So I call that creative imagination. Now, so that word creative is extremely important because it links to a very, very old story, the story of creation. Yeah, that, which, is, which is a religious thing. In other words, we have in us the same capacity as the Creator. There's no different. We're not just puppets uh, existing in a universe that came about miraculously or somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or, or a, a universe that simply just magically emerged out of the Big Bang and then everything evolved from that point. We actually are co-creators, which is why I think we have imagination. We have the ability to be creative with our imagination. So you must not assume that imagination is in, in itself, let's say, creative. It's how you use it that makes it creative. So my def definition of creative imagination is the inspiration that comes out of the order of the universe and flows down through us. Creative imagination is the inspiration that comes out of the universe and flows down through us. <coughs> 